Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here again with Dr. Nario. Thanks for being with us, doctor. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. All right. So we're going to talk about spermidine today and what it is. It's kind of a, an anti-aging type thing. Uh, but if you guys want to know more about uh, Dr. Nario and the clinic, uh, Biointegrative Health Center, it's in Reno, Nevada. You probably already know that. You can check them out online. <clears throat> so um, spermidine, what is it, doctor? Well, Steve, spermidine is, again, uh, a new one. Of the, I mean, it's not new, but it's, it was becoming more of a sensationalized uh, supplement out there. But it's a polyamine, a natural component of our cells, produced by our body. About one-third of the spermidine content is made by us. The rest is ingested through food and produced by bacteria in our, in our digestive tract. And a balanced diet can therefore help really to keep the spermidine content in our body at a very high level. Smyrna is a natural substance that can be found everywhere in nature. As a polyamine, as I mentioned to you, which is a very small molecule that can be easily absorbed because of its size. Smyrna is found especially in male seminal fluid. That's why it's called spermidine. Hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So how does, how does this work? I mean, what's the mode of action? How, how does it work? Well, Steve, young people, the spermidine content of the body is very high. Concentration of what we create from the inside decreases around age 30. Studies of administration of spermidine, like for mice, yeast, flies, uh, actually showed that their lifespans had been prolonged. When cells are fed spermidine from the outside, they behave as if they were fasting. This was shown by the biologist named Dr. Frank Medeo and his team, with various studies. The effect seems to be closely related to a specific process in the organism called autophagy. Yeah, so um, we were talking before we turned the camera on about um, autophagy, which is very important. But what, what you just said there was that this is something that kind of diminishes in your body as you age, like mm -hmm. glutathione, like NAD and things like that, right. sounds like. Um, so autophagy is something that you get, um, when you fast, but give us some details about autophagy and how spermidine kind of relates to it. Well, see the, the body's own process, which is actually, when I say autophagy, it's self eating. That's what it means in, in Greek. And it's a recycling process of the cells in which the cells break down when, when they're damaged and they become unusable, but they become reusable again and become an energy source. And this is the whole process that I'm describing of autophagy. And these damaged cellular components can actually develop uh, inflammation or problems for the system, which are also related to age-related diseases. By recycling the old components, cellular metabolism is promoted and the cell is kept young and healthy. Functioning autophagy is therefore essential for protection of against any type of disease. Autophagy in cell can be stimulated by fasting, exercise, and certain substances and supplements. In view of these medical findings, and in Japan, Yoshinori Ohosumi was awarded a Nobel Prize for this. And the best way to activate autophagy, again, as I mentioned, is fasting. However, this requires a high degree of discipline for everyone as it is usually difficult to integrate fasting as a fixed part of our daily routine and social interactions, professional obligations, and married leisure time, family time presents us with great challenges in this context. The solution to these challenges lies in the different natural substances that enable the activation of autophagy without actually having to strictly fast. So as you can see how challenging it is to apply it in real life. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's a goal of people who are trying to get healthier and maybe um, will definitely improve their health is because when you're when your body's in that state of, of autophagy, then it's, you know, it's kind of eating up the bad stuff. It's got to eat something. Right. Right. So right. Um, what are the benefits? I mean, the benefits of spermidine obviously have to do with kind of related to autophagy. But what are the benefits of this? Right. And there again, Steve, these are scientifically reviewed material like Medeo um, reviewed this evidence that 
increased intake of spermidine appears to reproduce many helpful effects of caloric restriction. Isn't that nice when you're actually taking something, you're still stimulating as if your body was fasting? And they go into the cellular actions in terms of the benefits, which include enhancement of the actual recycling of cells called autophagy. And when you do this, this actually now brings in protection for cancer, metabolic disease, heart disease, and even neurodegeneration. So you would notice that this pressing of that reset button would actually be beneficial for the whole system because you're removing the bad cells and just giving your body a reset. And that's why aging is probably, I don't want to say this, but that's really our problem, meaning unhealthy aging. So that's why we're here to transition everybody through healthy aging processes. Yeah, uh, for sure. So um, what are the sources of this? Where do you get it? How do you get it? Tell us about that. Yeah, well, see, spermidine is a natural product. It can be found in fruits, vegetables, meats, cheese. And it actually, as I mentioned a while ago, it's created by our own cells. However, the body's production of spermidine in our cells decreases over, over time. Therefore, it is essential to pay attention to daily spermidin intake. So meaning eat a lot of what I just mentioned, those food sources, and also there are supplements out there. So again, you can do your research, but supplements are out and they have their, it's just a little expensive as I noticed. And these are oral capsules. Most of them I've seen liquid also, but I haven't seen IVs or injections yet, but I'm sure there's some going through the pipeline. So people can find it out there. They're looking for, if they want to take a supplement, spermidine capsule, there's products out there like that. Yeah, there are uh, products out there in the market, but as of course, we are the one who uses research and evidence in relation to making our patients choose a specific product. But there are ones, just be careful, there are some unadulterated products out there, but get it from a good source. Okay. Um, and if you guys have questions about that or any of this, put them in the comment section. So last question, side effects. Are there side effects with this? Steve, currently none. There are no known side effects from ingesting spermidine. And as I just mentioned, they're coming from food. So eating those food sources are probably pretty safe. Uh, this is because, again, our body, ourselves create this. So, but so far, maybe the most would be a GI issue when people take it on an empty stomach, then they have uh, GI disturbances, but overall, not safe. Wow. Okay. Well, um, there you go, everyone. Spermidine. Uh, Dr. Nario, thanks for being with us and we will see you next time. Steve, thank you so much for having me again. As we all know, knowledge is power. And thank you for letting me provide you with edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge.